Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you so much uh, for everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking readings with me. It really matters, and I, I really appreciate it. Um, today, we're asking, who am I going to marry? There's pile one, two, three, four. And if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 2,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and leave a comment in the room. All right, so we're going to move on to pile number one. Excuse me. All right, my beautiful and talented pile number one. Who are you going to marry? Oops. This one, okay. Well, I mean, it's it's going to be very committed because we have the, with the Hierophant, so it might be a little bit more traditional, um, and there, it might be, because this is, temperance is also about moderation, I think that you'll, you'll be able to compromise very well. Do you have the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Wands? So I'm going to get a little bit more clarity on that Nine of Swords. Is this something that you're anxious about? Are you going to have a lot of anxiousness there? Are you already anxious regarding this person? Let's see what's going on. It's like there is some anxiety regarding this, but there's going to be a brand new beginning where things are just suddenly going to become very clear. Is this somebody you know? Like, I, I don't know if initially there's going to be some anxiety here, but it is going to be very clear. There is going to be victory. You're, you're going to have... You're definitely getting married. <laughs> so with the... Queen of Wands. Are you marrying the Queen of Wands? Okay. So whether it's male or female, it's somebody that is, you know, very desirable, very fiery personality, uh, leader. Yeah, like somebody who is really, um, really passionate. Really passionate, uh, maybe really creative. Yeah, some of you, they're, they're really creative. All right, tell me more about this person. Tell me more. Tell me more. The chariot. Is this somebody who's coming into your life soon? Hmm. Because I've got the chariot and the seven of swords. Like it. For some of you, is this somebody that you already know? I, I'm mainly getting, for most of you, this is a person that you're that is not currently in your life. Um, have they ever been in your life? I'm, I'm mostly getting that this is a new person, but I am going to figure out that Seven of Swords because that's not necessarily what we want to see. With the Chariot, is it going to like be a... F like, is it, it, is it going to progress very fast? Okay, I'm getting that you you may progress towards commitment very fast once you're in a relationship with this person. But let's figure out that Seven of Swords with the Six of Swords. So are you going to be moving on from, like, a, a, a bad situation? Okay. So either you or them are, are going to be moving past you know a situation where maybe somebody was being sneaky or or getting over your own internal issues okay you might be getting your over your own internal issues especially if on some level you might be afraid of commitment yeah um it's going to progress this relationship is going to progress towards commitment but you're going to i think that e for most of you, it's you. You're, you're going to have to move on to calmer waters, like maybe deal with what makes you occasionally not make ideal decisions, as we all do. So with the Page of Wands, that's about 
you know, a page of somebody who's just starting out. So I think on some level, um, you're going to be like figuring out how to up level you, yourself, you know, um, maybe there's some things that in the past haven't worked out for you because, you know, because you may have some maladaptive coping or something like that. Yeah, and you're human, we all get there, we can all change, because I do have this, especially with the hermit, there's like, I, I see that you might go inside to like figure out what that is, and that this is gonna help you actually find somebody that, you know, you, you blend well with, and that you have this relationship with. Um, with Page of Wands, is this them or is this you? Like, I'm definitely getting this. This is your energy. So this is kind of, um, I guess, homework. <laughs> so you may have to go into a little bit of an, of your inside and, and ask yourself why you do some of the things that you do, as we all have to ask ourselves sometimes. Um, but you have, you more than you have the ability to figure this out yeah and i think once you do you're going to be on your path so tell me more about this person this person you're bringing in your life because i'm getting a little bit about you yeah but and what you need to do but like what tell me more about this person Ooh, four of pentacles. I don't know if I like that. Like, they might be a little bit closed off at first. Yeah, maybe a little bit closed off at first. And then I've got the sun. So there's going to be a lot of happiness. But it may take a while for this person to come out of their, their shell. Like, they may have to have... They may have things that they need to move on from as well. Um... I'm, I'm mainly getting that it's just hard for them to get out of their shell. Yeah. But I'm still seeing with the sun that is an amazing amount of happiness. Please clarify the four with the ten of wands. Yeah, they, they just need to, they have something that they're holding on to that they need to let go of. In fact, he's holding on to something because he's, you know, trying to protect his heart. Um, so there is going to be a little bit where they have to deal, you're, it looks like you both have to, it, like they need to deal with letting go of something in the past, um, and you may need to figure out why, if you avoid relationships or commitment, why you do that, and so that you can be, you know, more more able to, to to take control of your life yeah wheel of fortune queen of swords justice do I, should i do both so this one this one okay this one so with the wheel of fortune and justice so it seems like you will have a very even and balanced relationship with the wheel of fortune is this somebody that's fated to come yeah i feel like this is somebody who's fated to come into your life come on somebody who's fated to come into your life I, i'm getting like a king of swords and you came up as the queen of swords I think that you may really bond on an intellectual level. Yeah, I'm getting that you're gonna bond on an intellectual level and maybe move forward with that initially. But you will have, justice is good to have in a relationship. <laughs> you know, you will have this like lovely internal balance. You'll be able to compromise. You're going to be like really fair to each other. And it is going to feel very, like, meant to be. 
I think that you're really going to enjoy the the more intellectual aspects of the relationship. But there's also going to be a lot of happiness. Hmm. Tell me more about this person you're going to marry. But yeah, he, this person's an intellectual person. Hmm. All right. I mean, I, I'm, I'm getting that there, there may be some initial, you know, some initial conflict between you guys. Tell me more, please. Yeah, and I think that it has to do initially with, like, being defensive. And, and really it has to do with, you know, internal issues that's you know, are more about, you know, it looks like in the end you guys are going to balance it out because you do have the... Um, you do have the justice and you do have the temperance card. So, but initially there are going to be things that you need to resolve between you. Uh, because sometimes, uh, uh, because you're both doing things, um, at least initially, that's, that's, you know, that you will have to overcome, like being too defensive um, or not being open enough or one of you being defensive and one of you running. Um, so I'm getting a lot of that. Um, it does seem like that things will balance between you guys. Yeah, but uh, it is a little bit tempestuous. Yeah, with the, the three of the three of swords. So does this person break your heart? Do you break this person's heart? Do you have these maladaptive coping mechanisms because of broken hearts? Okay. Like, I get because, like, you guys need to be fair in this relationship. Because it does have the thing for, you know, for the long term. But you guys um, may have come out of having your heart broken. They might have come out of having their heart broken. And you guys are going to have to... even out your in your internal cells to get this commitment because there is a little bit of this anxiety and this is somebody who's going to like move forward with you but yeah it seems like there's even though there's happiness here even though there's a faded kind of angle here as this is somebody who's meant like you guys need to deal with your own issues just so that you can come and be fair and it looks like it looks like you will but it looks like you know some you know burdens need to be dropped and you need to see that you guys are a pair because you are you just uh, may also be I'm getting afraid but it is something that is going to move towards commitments and it looks like you're going to grow together. So you don't have to be perfect to have this commitment, but you do want to make sure that you're not just being cold hearted. That the twists and turns that you have in your relationship is ultimately going to make it stronger. And there is good fortune in this connection. And things that are rough, you know, will get smoothed over. But yeah, I, I'm getting like work on being your best self because that's what's going to help make this happen. And, you know, you can definitely, uh, like with the wolf, it's definitely about strength. So there's definitely strength. There's definitely, um, but you want to be not being a lone wolf. You want to be finding your, you know, since we're talking about wolves, your pack, you know, the people, the person who's right for you and, and being willing to be open enough. Yeah. Um, so I, I believe that, uh, uh, there is going to be, you know, some time where you're going to have to grow together, but it does look like that it's going to resolve as something that is fair. Um, and that's, 
you know, is something that will last. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you want a free reading, I'm going to give away two as soon as I hit 2,000 subscriber. So just be subscribed and leave a comment and you're in the running. Uh, other than that, uh, just thank you to everybody who's liking, sharing, subscribing, and booking readings with me. It really matters and I appreciate it. All right, now we move on to pile number three. Hello, my beautiful and talented. I said pile number three. Pile number two. Okay, pile number two. Who are you going to marry? Three of Cups, the Star, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Cups. All right, I'm going to get some clarity on the Nine of, of Swords and the Three of Cups. But it does look like there is definitely a lot of strength in this connection. So, Three of Cups. Tell me what's going on with the Three of Cups. The Ten of cups so I mean there might be a lot of you know playfulness in this connection that is going to lead to a lot of happiness so with the nine of swords the eight of swords hmm it's like there's somebody who's you know really in their head about this is this somebody that you already know why is there somebody that's so in their head like it's like you feel stuck and um, and you're very anxious you aren't stuck but your 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 anxiety is making you feel like you are um, but do you feel stuck in this relationship is this about where you're feeling right now I, I, I feel like some of some of this file you're you're really feeling like stuck confined maybe like you won't find somebody okay um, and that's, that in itself, that anxiety is, is what's making you feel trapped. It's not, uh, it's not an accurate representation of the situation at hand. Because I think that with the three of cups, is this how you meet them? Like, I'm just seeing if it's going to be like a party, a celebration, or through friends. Like, I think that you might meet this person through friends. It is going to be something that you will be very happy with, that you're gonna find a lot of healing through this situation, and um, you're gonna find like an equal and loving relationship. Look what's on the bottom. <laughs> um, so, Tell me more about this person. Tell me about this person, please. The Knight of Cups. So he's somebody who's going to show you with his actions that he cares. The um, Six of Wands. So he's a success. He or she. I'm sorry. Or this person is a successful, you know, kind of person. Or it, it, or somebody who's admired. Like, yeah, I'm getting admired. So they may not, you know, have necessarily it all be in money, but like they're well admired. Yeah. Um, there's somebody that's really charismatic, because uh, I've got the sun, some of them might be Leo, but I wouldn't get caught up on the sign, because um, they are, but there's somebody who lights up a room. There's somebody who, you know, you're going to find a lot of healing with them, but there's also somebody that's, you know, like they're a, people people feel good around them. They're like a hopeful presence. They're like a healing presence. And that's probably why they're so well admired because that, I think because of their charisma. Yeah. And, but they're going to, with their actions, show you that they care. 
and they're definitely going to be willing to move forward yeah they're going to be willing to move forward take action um they really probably enjoy intellectual uh stimulation who are you going to marry who are you going to marry who are you gonna marry got the hierophant so like both marriage readings already have the hierophant makes sense um so i mean you're definitely there's going to be traditional aspects to your relationship uh, i think that you will absolutely it's not just you know you living together forever you're going to get married and they're they're gonna take they're gonna take action towards it with the king of cups are they somebody who's very caring yeah this person's a very caring person um they may not always be vocal about it though um yeah but they are going to show you that they care and they do have a deep well of emotions so i've got the three of wands and the five of wands so let's get a little bit more clarity on the three and the five so is this going to take and the ace of uh, of wands just comes out it's funny the the ace of wands just jumps out when it's the uh, the three of wands so it's it's something like once there's like this is a passionate new beginning this is like putting um putting your intention out there so that something can come in yeah so like you've made the decision to move forward you've you've put in the initial and you're waiting for something to pay off and it's like that's gonna fall from the sky kind of um it's like once you put the intention like i'm gonna build this and then suddenly you're in the four of ones which is also a marriage card so I think that it's very interesting that this many wands came up. So I think that there's going to be, you know, I don't know if this is just the initial willingness to, like, put yourself out there or the willingness to have a new beginning. Yeah, I think that once you make the decision to, to go out and take action, you're, you're going to get your new beginning. Tell me what's going on with the five of wands is there going to be a lot of fighting is there going to be a lot of competition is this about internal struggle okay i'm getting this. this is more about internal struggle so what do you is this about your internal struggle their internal struggle are you both going through a different internal struggle right now okay looks like there there is going to be healing um but it looks like you're both going through different internal struggles right now I think that uh, once you guys do make the um, step to move forward, uh, hoping that something's going to pay off, something is going to come from the sky and pay off, give you that four of wands, give you that, that hero font. Um, but you guys are like going through your own spiritual lessons right now. Yeah, I think this is internal. With five of wands, please clarify. With the jack of wands. Are you dealing with somebody who's inconsistent? Okay. So the, the person you're marrying is a, this person. All right. So are are you guys like? Do you already know the person that you're marrying? For most of you, is this somebody that is new? Okay. I'm getting that this is mostly somebody who's new. Um, that. Uh, that if you're having a struggle with somebody who's, you know, inconsistent, um, in, maybe in and out of your life, where you're not really sure if they actually care about you or whether they're playing you, yeah, um, that, that's not the person you're marrying. Yeah, that's, that's not the person you're marrying. Um, and I think... Part of that, if that's what you're doing, you need to make the decision to move forward in a way. And then you're, you're going to get, you know, all the passion that you were getting, but you're going to get, like, real commitment and somebody who actually really cares about you. So if you're, if you're struggling right now because you don't, um, 
you don't really feel like you know the intentions of the person that you're seeing. Um, they're they're not, they're not the they're not your person. They're 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 somebody that you need to figure out why you're letting yourself be put into less than great circumstances. Like you may have to have that internal struggle of why am I accepting less than what I deserve? Yeah. Because you are going to find somebody who's charismatic, who's very healing to be around, who's very caring, um, who once you make the decision that, you know, you're going to leave your issues behind, this is going to be, you're going to have this person who will commit, yeah, it's just the other person you know, it's just going to be, it is, that situation is what you're going to get from the other person. Yeah. So just accept that you're better and you're going to bring in, once you're willing to have a passionate new beginning, because obviously with all these wands, passion is important to you. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. You know, passion will be, it's just right now, you're in anxiety and you need clarity. Yeah, I get you're in anxiety and you feel stuck, but like you're going to get a situation where it is really clear because the ace uh, uh the the knight of swords, he's about clarity. Yeah. And then it's going to lead to something that's worth your time. But if you think you're going to get clarity on the situation, this is your clarity on that situation. And that clear, the thing is, it's that situation isn't going to be your happily ever after. Um, that's something that you're going to grow from and then get into a relationship that's worth your time. Yeah. Because with the Athena, uh, with the Athena coin, you're 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 getting wisdom. So is this new person cold-hearted? Are you cold-hearted? Is the person you're dealing with like if you're dealing with somebody right now, they they're just they're they're cold-hearted. Yeah, I just had. I sh I just elbowed this and it fell off the table. Like, you got to move on to calmer waters. Because everything that's happened has only made your heart more beautiful. You are absolutely somebody who is deserving of somebody who's emotionally mature. Who is going to actually show you with their actions that, that they care about you. Yeah. But I, I know that the, I felt like the, the other cups was up here. But yeah, they're, they're going to show you that they care about you. It's going to be something that's a healing experience for you. You're, they, I feel like this person's going to be, yeah, pretty popular because, you know, they, you know, just bring a lot of happiness and joy in other people. And I think that the, you're going to have a lot of happiness and joy with them because... They're not somebody who's just, you know, playing some kind of game with you. They're a brand new beginning that is going to lead, uh, that if you put, you know, your time and energy in that direction, it's going to pay off into, you know, a marriage that's going to last the test of time. Oops. Wouldn't be me if I didn't drop cards. <laughs> Yeah, but don't feel like you're stuck and you're certainly, you're really, really, really not stuck with the person you're with right now. So I know right now you're anxious and it's okay to have feelings for somebody even if, even if they don't reciprocate. That doesn't make you unworthy. It just means that you're putting your energy in the wrong place. So I think you need to resolve that. And stop fighting yourself, especially if you're making excuses for this other person. Yeah, I guess you might be making excuses for this other person. But you have something that can be happiness that lasts the test of time. A family, 
you know, that's what's here for you. Yeah, it's like I said, the person that's going to come in is going to very consistently show you with their actions that they care about you. And it's going to be an equal um, love. So, I mean, some of you may not be in a relationship right now, or or maybe some, some of you are... Uh, but I, I get a lot of you may be in a situation where you don't know where something is going. Um, and um, that situation, it's not worth your loyalty. Yeah, it's not worth your loyalty. You do have a good situation that's coming in, but you need to take, you need to make the decision to move on. You need to accept that you're not stuck where you are. Yeah. And then take that next step. So I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm sorry. There's still some more drums here. <laughs> so yeah, the star, uh, the star card was out. Again, the star is here. You're going to get so much healing. Um, I mean, this person is going to have the key to your heart. You are going to get a lot of, you know, spiritual kind of intuition about this person. Just be willing to, you know, speak from the heart. Be willing to work together in the connection. Be willing to believe that you are worth something that is that is really good. Um, it, it, this one says, in case of accident, please call a priest. I mean, I think that you can, you know, give last rites to this other situation that you're, that is just causing you anxiety. That's, you deserve better, and that's, that's not the thing for you. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two at 2,000. Uh, and I am just appreciate everybody who's booking with me, liking and sharing and subscribing. I appreciate it all. So my beautiful and talented pile number three. Hello, my beauties. got the fool the six of wands I'm sorry it wasn't the six of wands it's the six of pentacles but since I said the six of wands it might be something that's yeah maybe something that feels like a victory ooh I've got the seven of swords I would clarify that And the Seven of Cups. Well, let's clarify the Seven of Swords to begin with. The Ten of Cups. Hmm. Is this person... Is it you that's... Is it... Is it you that walks away from things that make you happy? Or does this person walk away from things that make them happy? I think that you may have, like, somebody who's, like, a little bit um, afraid of stuff that makes them happy. Like, it, it's weird. Like, maybe, like, a reject you before you reject them energy. Yeah. With the Seven of Cups, I then have the Eight of Cups. So that's walking away from something emotionally unfulfilling. Is this going to be an unfulfilling relationship? Because I have the Six of Pentacles over that. Do you need to walk away from something unfulfilling? to? Because I got the Fool, which is a new beginning. I'm going to get some clarity for you. We'll figure this out. Ooh, a lot of eights with the eight of wands. So like there's there's a, initially going to be a lot of action. Let's clarify the six of, of pentacles. Like it, it's because the eight of wands is about speed, movement, communication. Hmm. All right. Because I have um, the seven of wands clarifying 
the six of, of pentacles because the six of pentacles is about equal give and take it, are you going to be defensive regarding this are they going to be defensive is it that they don't have they not received equal give and take in relationship before are they going to resist be resistant for with you wanting you know equal give and take in a relationship Ooh, okay. Well, that's not the best energy. So I get that, like, this could be like a whirlwind kind of romance with the Fool and the Eight of um, eight of Wands. So this is like, they are, you know, there's, there's a lot of attraction at the very beginning. It, it seems to go someplace very fast. Yeah. Um, and maybe you're not even considering things too much. So I think that you definitely want something that's equal, um, but I uh, but I feel like they're going to be resistant to that. And with the seven of swords, with the ten of cups, like I mean, are they like this is like picking fights so that they can sneak away? Um, is this a situation where they're going to be very loving at the very beginning and then they are suddenly going to stop? Ooh. Stop. Are they suddenly going to stop as soon as they feel like that they have, you know, your affection? It's like this person is going to come in with a lot of affection, a lot of, um... Yeah, this is a cautionary pile. So this is uh, somebody who may love bomb you. They, co they come in, they try to sweep you off your feet. Um, maybe they're, you know, move way too fast. Um, and initially you're going to think that your needs are going to be met, but they're resistant to meeting your needs. And as soon as you invest your feelings... They're going to, like, I, whether it's they're going to pull back emotionally, yeah, they're going to pull back emotionally, um, or they are going to leave, or they're going to maybe start seeing other people, yeah. Because, like, what they're doing initially is setting up an illusion in their eyes, the, the illusion that you love, uh, that they love you, uh, and you start loving them and they emotionally walk away. And the best thing for you is to emotionally walk away from a situation like this. So for, for this pile, this is, um, this is not necessarily your fate. But you do need to be careful because this person, uh, there's a person that's going to come along. And they are, you know, going to offer you a big new beginning. And there's, uh, and there's absolutely no baggage except there, there is. And, you know, they're going to, like, pursue you with everything that they have. Um, they're initially going to make you feel... Like, yes, your needs are all going to get met because I love you and I'm keep doing these things. But as soon as you, um, as soon as you really start to love them, they're really going to start acting shady. Um, because this, that, that carrying on their part was an illusion. Um, and they're, they're going, I mean, I don't know if they need to emotionally walk away because I don't think that they ever emotionally walked in. Yeah. Um... So you need to be careful of this person. This doesn't mean that this is the only person that you have the potential to marry, you know. Uh, but this is the person that you need to dodge that bullet. Yeah. This is a dodge your bullet pile. And yes, you can. Because they do see you as somebody like that they could, you know, have children with. It's just that, you know, they're not a very nice person. Like, but they see you as somebody that, you know, is fancy, you know, is caring, will take care of their needs. Maybe will neglect your needs to take care of their needs. Yeah. Uh, and they like that in a person because uh, I've got 444 on the clock. 
So your angels are looking out for you. Maybe that's why that they want. Maybe that's why they're telling you this. So they're gonna see you as somebody that's really caring. Um, they might be really controlling. Um, they they definitely are going to put themselves out as the perfect partner. Like they're going to, you know, do everything that they can to manage um, how you perceive them. And they're they're going to have stuff to give. It's just. As soon as you get even a little bit comfortable, that all goes away. And then they, they, you, and then because it was all an illusion to begin with, and you know, you just need to emotionally walk away from this person. Yeah. But they're gonna, you know, they'll, they'll propose. Uh, because they see you as somebody that there is value in, but partially because the nurturing you'll give them. It's not, it, it's, it's like you, you aren't really a consideration. What you can do for them, how, how good you look next to them, that's a consideration. Yeah. And they're going to constantly keep you in confusion um, they're, they're going to uh, constantly lie. They're most likely not going to care about being faithful. No, they do not care. Um, they, they want somebody to like take care of, like if they want kids, they want somebody to have their kids. They want somebody to do all the work where they get to do whatever they want. So this, this is not a healthy person. And, you know, if somebody comes and, and starts, um, you know, if, if somebody, like, immediately starts being super over the top and it just doesn't feel right, that's probably because it isn't. So if you're afraid of having this person come into your life, adjust... Um, waiting for people where where you actually are getting to know them instead of you know they're you know taking you fancy places and like um and you know trying to sweep you off your feet but you're not really i mean they they may tell you things about them but they'll only like tell things about them that frames how awesome they are um, like if they talk about you, it's like they're, they're trying to figure out for later what they can use. Like they're not, this is not somebody you want to be in a relationship with. So, but they're going to be very, like they see themselves as the ultimate person. Like they're definitely pay attention to how this person treats any other person in their life because eventually that's how they're going to treat you. I don't care if they treat you like a goddess at the beginning. It's not real. Yeah. So I've got the nine of cups. So you, is it that, does, do they see your wish come true? Or are you going to think that you have a wish come true? It's like they're going to give you so much energy to begin with and, and treat you like, Oh my God, you're perfect, and, and uh, except you know there, and you're gonna think that you found like your fairy tale dream come true. But none of that is gonna last. Lies, illusions, fear, having to walk away. Like, if you get to a point where you do marry this person, like, you, you, you still need to figure out how to walk away because this is not a situation that's necessarily going to get better. But with the Page of Wands, um, does this person see you as a lot younger? Yeah, you may be, a, you may be younger than this person. Like, and, and maybe that's one of the things that they like about you. Um, so I've got the star. So is this person very charismatic? Are you very charismatic? 
because like the star is about hope so i mean are you just saying are you just giving these people hope yeah okay so I'm getting that, you know, you can have hope, you can have feel healing, even if this person's already part of your life, you can, yeah. And for some of you, this person already is. You you can, like, have this new beginning. You you can walk away of you, with the King of Pentacles. Is this person the King of Pentacles? Is there somebody else? Yeah. I think that there is, you know, you are going to, you know, if you if you walk away from this, you are going to get somebody who's, you know, genuinely a committed partner. Instead of selling themselves like one. Who's not resistant to both of your needs being met. Because this person, uh, your first person does not care about whether your needs met at all. Um... But yeah, I, I'm getting that rather than putting your happiness in this one person who's going to give you a lot of affirmation, yeah, um, put your happiness in yourself because you you are going to have other opportunities for people who actually really are quality. But but yeah, you need to be careful. You need to be careful um, because they're just going to come out of the blue and they're going to give you like you know the fairy tale fantasy there uh and you know and that's it's gonna look like a solid offer and you're gonna care but it's never it's never gonna be reciprocal so you are just know that uh even if this person's already in your life that you are somebody that's really really valuable and even when they get to the point where they're not treating you well it's not because you aren't valuable it's because they are who they are so if you avoid this person if you avoid this person if you what are you going to get like there's the death card so like really putting a boundary between this person like really cutting this person out of your life because this isn't somebody that this isn't somebody that you want to have in your life at all uh because uh you know they'll they'll do things to sabotage yeah so you have to truly cut them out of your life eight of swords that's the second time oh or is that was was that in another reading like I mean, it's like you're going to, it, it's, it's like, you know, you need to cut out feeling like you're trapped in something. Oh, look at us on the bottom with the five of, of cups. So you need to give up feeling like you're trapped because you're, you're not, you can, you know, free yourself. Yeah, but you are going to have this rebirth, you, you know, you're, you're going to have, you know, hope and happiness in your life. Yeah, and then you'll have a brand new beginning. I mean, you may not know exactly where you're going, but you're willing to do what it takes to move forward and not stay in, in, in this stuck energy. Yeah, because you will have really been listening to your intuition because um, even if you haven't met this person, but I feel like some of you really have met this person already and you keep on getting like warning bells um, those are right. You know, you need to, to, you need to leave. The King of Cups. Yeah, because you're going to attract in somebody that actually really cares. That is actually, you know, somebody that is dependable. And you're going to have like this new hope. Because you're absolutely somebody who's worthy Uh, 
of having a equal and loving and supportive loving relationship. So, um, so if you already know this person, um, I would, I would suggest running away. Yeah. Um, uh, because you, you are somebody who's worthy. You've always been somebody that's worthy. You're going to bring in somebody with the king and queen of pentacles. You're going to bring in somebody that is right for you. But you're going to have to heal this situation. And healing this situation involves no longer participating in it. If you haven't met this person yet, just be careful of the these signs. Because... It, this is going to be somebody who is charismatic. Uh, the, the person you need to leave behind is somebody that is charismatic. But it, it's going to be like night and day. Yeah, there you're going to you're going to be the perfect person one moment, and then the next person moment you're going to be somebody that um, you know can do no right. So. It's not that you can do no right. It's because you chose the wrong person. And if you do make a different choice and just say you won't have any of this, I don't care what they offer you. <laughs> so with this new... Uh, so should I read the... I feel like... I feel like I don't want to read the charms for this one. And the only reason why is I don't want it to be confusing on which person. So, um, just, uh, if something just really seems like it's too good to be true, in this case, it absolutely is. Um, and, you know, leave that behind for something that is worth your time because you are going to bring in something's worth your time with somebody who is right for you. But you don't want somebody who's just going to continually take um, and that is what this other person is going to do. They're, they're going to romance you until they give you no effort at all. And then they're going to, you know, do whatever they want with whoever they want. Um, and leave you to do, you know, b basically just do everything for them. It's like the, it, the, the first person's a trap. You know, they're just a trap. You know, and but now you know, now you can sidestep and now you know that there's uh, somebody else that is worth your time if you can sidestep that reality. And, and you just need to know that you are not stuck. You, you are not stuck. You are not stuck. You can walk. You can walk away. All right. Thank you so much. And we're going to move on to pile number four. Uh, and... and Hello, my beautiful and talented pile number fours. Here, I'm going to do that one more time. For pile number four, for pile number four, who is pile number four going to marry? Who is pile number four going to marry? What did I do? Uh, well, I'm just going to do it with my eyes closed because for some reason I really just... It's half up and half down now. Oops. So with pile number four... Do... You no... Know, uh, this, uh, I do have the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Devil. So I'm going to get some clarity on the Devil. I mean, it definitely can be some passion, but it's, it's not usually a balanced energy, and it can be related to fear. So Seven of Cups and the Devil. I almost feel like Three and Four are related Okay, for some of you, three and four are related readings. So if you feel um, like maybe you had some affinity for three, um, then it might be worth, you know, also checking that out. Because with the devil being clarified as the seven of cups... 
I, I, I get that there's definitely some illusions and definitely some toxicity. But the other cards are, are more positive, like moving on from calmer waters. So I feel like you might be moving away from something where things were very unclear and things were, you know, kind of toxic. Yeah. And um, you're choosing situations where you have truth and integrity and you're somebody that is, you know, has a lot of value. So is this a new relationship? Is this the person you're going to marry? I feel like you're leaving a situation that was unhealthy. Yeah. Where, you know, where, oh, sorry. Where things aren't clear. Um, and you're like, oh, well, you can take that lack of clarity. Uh, like, you're going to, like, master your fear because the devil gets to hold you because of fear. So maybe you were afraid to initially move on um, because you thought that, you know, maybe there was, you know, more. But you're going to, I think you're going to finally see, you know, maybe see that somebody's inconsistent. And then you're going to move forward from that. Um, with, um, the, like, with when you're moving on with the seven, I'm sorry, I, I, it is the six of swords. So when you're moving on with the six of swords, I think you're going to be moving away from, like, sneaky behavior and, like, and, and you're like, nope, only honesty, that's all I'm dealing with. Uh, and only people who are really show me with their actions that they care about me. Please clarify the Ace of Swords. Yeah, because I think that you're coming out of a situation where you really weren't getting your needs met. Yeah, so I think that you do have a past. Is it a current situation? Are you currently in this? I feel like you had a past situation where your needs were not being met. But once you move on from that and you're like, nope, I will only accept, you know, honesty and integrity, I think that you're actually going to get it. But I'm going to keep moving forward. Please give me more clarity on the beautiful. Yeah. That's when you're going to get a brand new beginning, a brand new beginning that's got a lot of passion, a brand new beginning that uh, has a lot of truth and honesty. So tell me about this brand new beginning. Tell me about this person you're going to marry. Gosh, I'm going to have to fix that deck. Tell me about this person you're going to marry. Tell me. Ace of Pentacles, um, the Empress, the Queen of Swords, and the Chariot. So this person is the Empress. Are you the Empress? So this person, I get that this person is somebody that, that you're going to move away from like this bad pattern of the past. You know, especially if there's anything that you're holding on to that's not healthy. Um, once you completely walk away from that, you're going to get, find somebody who's very nurturing, very kind, you know, really has their life together. Yeah. Um, but they, they're very abundant, uh, creative. Yeah. And there is going to be an abundant new beginning between them. So that's three of the four aces of the deck have come out. So you're going to have like a lot of truth. You're going to have a lot of passion. You're going to have something that has the potential to last the test of time. So is the queen of swords, is this person the queen of swords or are you the queen of swords? I think this is once you've already hit your queen of swords energy of, I will only accept the truth and only the truth. You know, I, I, I don't care how I feel. I'm just, I'll cut off anything 
that isn't in my best interest. You're going to bring in somebody that is in your best interest. You're going to bring in all this potential for new beginning. Um, having the boundaries that you need set is going to help you move forward into something that's really going to be victorious. And you're both going to be very, you know, like m mature people. You're both going to be very strong people. This person probably is going to be a little bit more willing to, to have their heart on their sleeve, but they also are very intelligent. They also are somebody that will cut off something that does not work. Tell me about this person. All right, I feel like I should not take that card. Um, so tell me about this person. I've got the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So this person is somebody they're abundant and happy within themselves. They're like, I have my money you know, taken care of. I'm fine being alone. I, I'm making myself happy. And then really, that's honestly how you become the empress to begin with. You're like, I have, you know, I'm taking care of my inner self, taking care of my outer self. I'm taking care of things. So with the, uh, the moon, I mean, this person may initially seem a little bit mysterious. And the tower. Let's get some clarity on the tower. Is, uh, did this person have a... Um, in, well, I'm going to get a little bit more clarity, but let's get some clarity on the moon. Because this person might be a little bit mysterious to begin with. With the eight of pentacles. <laughs> I almost feel like they're kind of secretive about their work, which is, you know, a little weird, but maybe, maybe if they're creative or something like that, maybe they have to be, or, you know, maybe you're dating a spy, <laughs> but like they, they might be a little bit as secretive about their work. So, um, they do seem to be abundant in it. Um, maybe they just can't tell you like a lot of details just in case they have like a security clearance or something, you know, uh, but they're obviously a very impressive person, you know, so they, there might be some non-disclosure or something like that, but like they, they may have to... Um, maybe it's in the medical field and they need to, you know, protect patients' information. You know, there's something that or like they have a plan to like grow. Like they have a, something that they're working on that's going to make them, they could be an entrepreneur. Yeah, some of you, they could be an entrepreneur. Like they, they have a plan, but they're not giving away all the details to their plan. Can I get some... In can I get some information on the tower with the six of six of pentacles? All right. Does this person, did this person have something to resolve in their life because there was a lack of give and take? Cause the, the tower, like did they, like the tower can be an epiphany. Is this an epiphany on your side? Did you, ha, have you already lost this relationship with this person? I'm just trying to get, because there's the tower, which is about having things that are not built on a strong foundation falling away. So I don't know if there's something in their, in their life that's not built on a strong foundation that's going to fall away, maybe so that this relationship will be. But I'm not really feeling that. Is there something in your life that's going to fall away? Is, are, are, is it going to be like a really intense meeting between the two of you? Okay. I'm getting that between the two of you, you are going to have like a really intense, um, 
like you're going to recognize each other. Yeah, you're going to recognize each other right away. It's going to you're it's going to be very intense when you first meet this person. Um And I think that this is something where both of your needs can get met. But it's like, um, I, I, I normally am not, you know, going to say, like, you know, you should be looking for love at first sight. But you're going to have, like, a recognition of the other person immediately in a, you know, pretty intense kind of way. Um, so it's, it's going to feel like you were, you know, struck by lightning. You're like... Yeah, so I've got, like, so some of you, there could be some relation to Greece, um, but I think that when you come into this relationship, I'm, I'm getting that it's, it's more likely you, you might be a little bit close to relationships um, by the time you meet this person. There is going to be a really intense meeting where you have like really intense feelings, but it's kind of like feels really mutual and it is going to be really mutual um, because you are getting your new beginning. You're, you are getting your, you know, the person you can be happy with, but you do need to be careful because I feel like, does this person have a closed off heart? I, yeah, I feel like you're closing off your heart. And because you're closing off your heart, probably because you've dealt with, you know, here it is. Like, you, you've dealt with a situation that's been really negative and, like, you haven't had a lot of truth in this situation. And it's kind of um, made you closed off. But it's really important to work together in this relationship because... This is a person, while well, they might be a little bit secretive about what they do or maybe their plans towards, you know, but they're somebody who is really worked to be the best version of themselves. This is like the person that everybody wants to be in a relationship with because they are somebody who, you know, are strong, are independent, is somebody that, you know, is aware that they're valuable, that's not really trying to get some, you know, like this person, you know, when they come into your relationship, they're, they're really, you know, offering you that love because they all, they're not trying to get into a relationship because they need to have somebody. They want something that, you know, will be steady and stable and, you know, like bring some value into their life. But it's not like a, a thing of like using you. It's just that if you don't bring any value into their life, then why would they be in a relationship with you? And you might be a little bit more closed off, but like you had three of the four wands, like, uh, sorry, three of the four aces in the deck. So this is like a brand new beginning in which there is an enormous amount of potential. And it is going to feel very intense when you meet. This person is going to see that you're, you know, attractive and one of a kind. They are going to see the value in, in you and... You maybe need to overcome your fear because I think that that would be the biggest issue because you might have, because with the devil, you might still be in fear from, from your last relationship. And you know, it may have been really bad. It's an understandable thing, but you know, accept the good that's in front of you, like have some like playful energy with the Athena charm, just, you know, be be willing to you know don't just close off your heart but be willing to like think you know <laughs> because not all situations are going to be the same you will have walked away from something that is you know bad for you into something better 
and this is going to offer you the clarity that you want and you might have they, this person may not tell you exactly what they're doing for their profession or like all the nitty-gritty but you're both going to have like a super intense reaction like it's going to feel like um like you recognize each other on a soul level they're going to see your value and deep down you're you're in this queen of swords energy because that you've had to protect your va yeah you've had to protect yourself you've had to protect and and set boundaries and all of those are important but you deep down you are a truly nurturing person as well and it's okay to be nurturing you just need to be selective about who you nurture but yeah if if you're willing to actually see this person and you know and give this, you know, a real chance. This is, you know, a, this would be an amazing relationship. But there is there there is this element of, you know, letting past relationships poison the new one. And that's not what you want to do. And I don't feel like it's mostly coming from their side. I think that 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 is something that you may have to work on because you know we're all human beings and you know it's hard to open up when when you've been hurt it's hard to open up if that's happened more than once um you just need to be discerning about who you can and can't trust and if somebody's consistently showing you behavior over time and that behavior is consistent with what they're saying then that is something that is most likely something that you can trust so i really appreciate you thank you so much uh, i hope that this helps and if you do want a free reading i'm giving away two as soon as i hit 2,000 subscribers so be subscribed and comment and then you're in the running other than that um i just want to say thanks to everybody who's liked shared subscribed and commented it all really matters and i'm really grateful